Hi there, Crafts and Decor friends. Welcome back. I'm Sean. Today I have a super elegant video for you. We'll design super fashionable dresses for Barbie. They're gonna be great for several occasions, including her wedding day. That's right, we're even gonna make her a wedding dress. And the best part is that they're gonna be super easy to make. So stick with me, because you'll learn how to give every doll you own a complete makeover. Let's take a look at everything we're gonna need. First, some stiff cardboard. A piece of furry fabric like this one. Paper clips. A few straws. And some thin wooden sticks. Before we make Barbie's dresses, we need a cute dress rack where Barbie can hang them. So let's make it by cutting out a piece of stiff cardboard of 17 by 10 centimeters and lining it with a furry fabric. Lay the piece of cardboard on the back of the furry fabric and then apply some clear glue to stick it on like so. You can trim off the excess of fabric once the glue has dried. Next, grab a straw and one of your wooden sticks. Slip the stick all the way through the straw. Then use your scissors to trim off the excess. Do this with four more sticks and straws. Once we have them like this, we can start assembling our dress rack. Grab two of the poles and place them like this. Then fix everything in place with clear glue. Then do the same with the other two. And now that the glue has dried, we can apply a tiny bit of clear glue to the top part of the poles and attach another one right across. Now, let's decorate our dress rack. These plastic beads are gonna make it look pretty neat. We need to attach them right where the poles end with a tiny bit of clear glue. Something that cannot be missing are some mini coat hangers, so let's make them by bending a few paper clips like so. And with our pliers, we're gonna bend the top part of the coat hanger. As for the help of a grown-up, this can be a little tricky. Look friends, here we have our incredible dress rack to hang all the lovely dresses we're gonna make for Barbie. They're gonna be incredible. For our first dress, we're gonna need fabrics and different shades of lilac, some gemstones, and a large plastic bottle. Let's get to it, friends. We need to grab our large water bottle and trace a mark where the waist and the feet of our Barbie doll are. And being extra careful, we're gonna cut out following the lines we just traced. Remember to ask for adult supervision whenever you use sharp tools, guys! This water bottle is gonna make our dress look super bulky. Now let's cover it with some of our fabric and make two small cuts for Barbie's waist. Here we have some glittery tool that is gonna give our dress a super sparkly effect. Put it on top of the first layer of fabric like so. Look friends, we make her an awesome top with some pink chiffon. And now we need to add a super elegant touch by attaching a cute gemstone right in the middle part of the chest. And finally we're gonna need to attach this lovely bow to her waist. Her first dress is now ready, how amazing! For the next dress, we're gonna need some fabric with a cool print like this one. And a red ribbon. Let's start by folding our fabric like this. Then fold it again to make the shape of a large triangle. Once it looks like this, you need to fold it in half two more times. And with a permanent marker, we need to trace a round line so the bottom part of the dress looks like a nice and even one. Then being extra careful, we're gonna trim all the excess of fabric following the line we just traced. Now we can unfold the fabric and you will see how we are gonna end up with a nice round shape. How cool! Time to start working on the dress. First, we need to fold our fabric in half two times. You're gonna end up with this shape that looks like a pie slice. Mmm, yummy! And with our permanent marker, we're gonna trace a semicircle that is gonna be the hole for her head. Then, trace two thinner semicircles on the sides for the holes of the arms. Now we're grabbing this pink fabric with an awesome pattern and we're cutting it out carefully. 
Then unfold the fabric and you're gonna end up with something like this. All we gotta do now is put on her dress. Look, she is simply adorable with that sweet dress. Now we're gonna tie this red ribbon around her waist to make her look extra cute and she will be ready. For our third dress, we're gonna need a dotted fabric and some pieces of fox leather. Let's start by laying this stencil in the back part of the fabric. Then we need to trace the shape of it with a pen like this. Then cut it up with your scissors. Try to go as straight as possible, friends. This is gonna be the skirt part of the dress. For the top part, we're gonna use two thin strips of the fox sweater for the straps and this other piece of the dotted fabric. Look, we already fixed the top part in place with some clear glue. Now we need to wrap the skirt around her waist and attach it with some more clear glue. And the straps should go around her shoulders all the way to the lower part of her back. Once they look like this, fix them in place as well. Now we only need to use one more strip of the fox letter for the belt and our third dress will be ready friends. How trendy! For our fourth dress, we're gonna need some paper towels and the stencil of a skirt. Let's begin by wrapping the stencil of the skirt around our doll's waist. You can trim off the excess so your dress looks perfectly even. So what we're gonna do next is wrap the skirt part with a layer of paper towels. Fix it in place with some tape like so. And to give our dress a super cute pleated design, we need to fold some small pieces of the paper towels, just like these guys. Now we need to attach the pleated pieces to the skirt part of the dress. In case you haven't guessed yet, this is gonna be an amazing wedding dress! For the corset part of the dress, we're gonna need a few layers of paper towels. You just need to cut out the shape like we're doing here. Then we need to wrap it around her torso area, adjust it to make it look fitted, and then trim up the excess. She's looking lovely already. For the details of the sleeves, we're gonna need two more thin strips of paper towel, and we're gonna put them around her arms like so. And for the final touch, we're gonna stick a few gemstones over the skirt part of the dress. Now Barbie's wedding dress is finally ready. For our last dress, we're gonna need some of this orange fabric and some red satin fabric. Let's start by wrapping our doll's torso in the orange fabric. Adjust it to make it look fitted. This dress is gonna be amazing. Next, we're gonna use some thread and a needle to give this dress a super neat design. Ask for the help of a grown-up with this step. We need to slip the thread like this, so the dress looks like it's tied with a small knot in the part of the cleavage. And to complement that lovely outfit, we're gonna make a pair of sides for her with the satin fabric. So start by tracing the shape of the legs. Then we need to cut them out with our scissors. You can cut the two pieces we're gonna need at the same time, just like this. Time to sew them together, friends. Be very careful. Or, if you don't know how to sew yet, ask for the help of a grown-up or ask them to teach you. All we gotta do now is turn them inside out and put them on to our doll. She's gonna look lovely. And that was it for today, guys. Here we have our neat dresses that Barbie can wear in every occasion, including her wedding day. First, we have this super shiny dress we made with tulle. The second dress is for the nice summer days. She can go on a nice walk around the beach with it. Then, we have my favorite one, the absolutely gorgeous wedding dress. This one right here is a little more appropriate for formal locations like a graduation party. And finally, we have a more casual dress, so she can have a nice stroll around the park or just hang out at home. Let me know in the comments below which was your favorite. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for more fantastic crafts. Don't forget to give us a like and we love you so much. See you next time. Bye bye.